Hey, Eric, have you gotten into the latest craze? Well, yeah, I've been part of the video game craze since I was little. Come on, we all have. No, I'm talking about the Kiwi craze. Uh, come again? You know, the game for the Nintendo Entertainment System released in the 80s? Kiwi craze. Nope. I You've never heard about that? One. Well, turn that shit on and we'll play some Kiwi craze. Alright, I guess. Why not? So, Kiwi craze is better known as New Zealand Story. And this is the only time it's been released not under that name. I don't I mean, know. It was released as New Zealand Story everywhere else. Everywhere else. On the DS it was released as New Zealand Story. On like every other console, New Zealand Story. Then why for the NES was it something different? Was it another like Super Mario Brothers 2 situation? I or... have no idea. So basically you're this this um Kiwi or we're just gonna call it a chicken for um <laughs> continuity's sake. That's so, really what it looks like. So this is a chicken, and the colors are really washed out compared to the New Zealand story models. So basically you're just gotta get from left to right, okay. defeat all the enemies with your arrows, because this chicken has the opposite like the position to use freaking bows. Oh, <laughs> those enemies used to exist, then they took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> So you just gotta get from left to right and rescue your little chicken shit friends. And that's the name of the game. Oh, so it's kind of like yeah, it, every it, other game. Yeah, it's like every other game ever made. <laughs> cool. Can't go wrong with that model, nope, right? you can't go wrong with that model at all. So you got segments where you gotta fly and stuff like that. It's a really cool game. And it's also a very quick one too, because you can get from le like from level to level in like minutes. Well, what about what about secret areas? You might be missing some of that. There are secret warp zones. So maybe you missed one. I did not miss a warp zone. And so basically, this is all it is. You got to get from left to right. You seem to be going up. Yes, I know, going up. But. It does get harder in difficulty, and the DS one, oh, <laughs> the DS one has to be the hardest one. I think out you of gotta go them. down more. Yes, I figured that out. So the DS one's the hardest one because you have to collect the key before you open the chest with the, with the bird inside. <laughs> and there are these little um, swimming segments here where you spit, if I recall correctly. You spit arrows. Yeah, there you are. Just spat. <laughs> oh. You just spat out like phlegm or something. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's disgusting. It's fucking disgusting, isn't it? At least, wait. So on oh, the other the versions, level. he's kind of um, he's kind of um yellowish. In this, he's like kind of a washed out white. If you can't tell. Yes, I can tell. And I under I don't understand why that is. And I st I'm still, like, flabbergasted that they would call it a completely different title from the other ones in the series. And most of the times, this is a direct port. So it's not, it's not like, Well, a obviously game. they changed the colors. Maybe they thought no, it was don't. racist or they something. No, they don't. The DS version still has the same graphics as it did on this one. They don't change anything to it. It's a direct port. Oh, and I died for the first time. Ha, <laughs> uh. Oh, what? It spawned you right there. <laughs> I wasn't even at this point. What? Oh, you're dead. They they spawned me further ahead than I was. Ooh, so it's basically like Super Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, Super Mario Kart. Okay, so now my um my things are now bombs and they look like turds. Oh shit, so Oh, and there's the check in. Okay, this is the first boss fight in the game. Is that like a whale? It's a whale that has ice. And because I have bombs now, I'm fucking screwed because now I have to get even closer. Oh. And now that's impossible because you're the, dead. Now the, the game's over. That's it. You had... Oh, no, I can continue. So. You can continue? I... Yeah, you can continue. From a From... point that's not at the beginning of the level? Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of confusing. So for this boss, you got to avoid the um the things as long as you can. And you have to get eaten. Isn't that confusing? Most games you don't want to get eaten alive by the thing that's trying to kill you, right? I would assume so. But in this one, you have to get eaten first, and then you kill it from the inside. That's kind of barbaric, not gonna it, lie. It is pretty barbaric. So, after beating the first world, what do you think of New Zealand Story? 
Don't you mean Kiwi Craze? No, it's not Kiwi Craze. It's That's New what Zealand it says story. on the cartridge. I don't care what the cartridge says. It's New Zealand story. So what do you think of Kiwi oh, Craze? Oh, you're like those stupid weeaboos that, that, like, refuse to call Brawl by Brawl. They call it Super Smash Bros. X or some They call it, it X? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do you think of Kiwi Craze for the NES? I think Kiwi Craze is, uh... It's pretty good. I mean, the colors could be a little bit more interesting. Like you said, with the washed out white instead of pure yellow. But like, you know... Same, old, same old, same old. The NES did have its good. limited color palette. I know you, that, you but you said, you said yourself that it, they washed it's it more out, right? It is washed out, but and it could have been more vibrant than it is. So what would you give it's it? It's more vibrant than like other oh. games. Yeah, oh, it, just... it is more vibrant. Wait, what are those anyway that you Those did? are death spikes. Why'd you jump right into them? I don't know. So what would you give it out of 100, Eric? I'd give it, uh, 65, 68 65? Maybe. 68, I guess. Um, I'd have to disagree with you with that. I wouldn't give it as high as a 70. I'd give it an 82. Mm -hmm. Because... I mean, it's it, is a, it is a classic way. game, but and it is recycled. But you gotta think this wasn't this was one of the original versions of it. If if it was like the DS version, I would say yeah, give it a seventy. But since it's one of the originals, and it wasn't really ported to hell at that point, it, do, it doesn't have Dragon's Lair syndrome yet at this point, as I'd like to call it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I'd have to give it an sorry. eighty. So would you say a fair score between the two of us would be a seventy-five? I guess. So that's Kiwi Craze for the Nintendo Entertainment System. If you have an NES, I think you should buy it.